What's up YouTube, this is P-A-Z-Z-S-E in here and I've got a new Zippo video for you guys but it's not just one new Zippo this is gonna be two new Zippos yes a double feature now for those of you who are new to my channel every year our family goes on a beach trip and I always like to make a list of Zippos to look for while I'm at the beach and I generally call that the Zippo wishlist 2015 or whatever the year happens to be so yeah, this is the result of the beach trip. This is the haul of Zippos from that beach trip. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into this video. And for those of you who are wondering, I am actually filming this outside just because of how freaking awesome it feels out here and just of how nice of a day it is, although it's, it is almost over. It is almost, it's like 540. Anyway, who cares? Let's go ahead and let's get into this. So let's start off with this one. This one, if we take a look at the back, is model 28887 Neon Yellow. All right, now something I do wanna go ahead and point out is that this is the only Zippo that was technically on the wish list. So yeah, and if you look down here, you'll see I got it from a place called My Man Cave Store. It was located at Broadway at the Beach in Myrtle Beach. So if you're ever over there, make sure you go over and check them out because their Zippo selection is awesome. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. Wow, look at that, the neon yellow. This is not the first time I've seen it, but it is super duper bright yellow. As you can see, this one is almost a highlighter yellow. In fact, it's so bright that it almost looks green, not only on camera, but even in person. It just kind of has a greenish tint to it. So a few people have mistaken this for being a neon green matte Zippo, when in reality, this is the neon yellow. So as you can see, there's the price. $21.95, let's go ahead and take that off for the first time. Well, that's kind of a bittersweet moment. I've been waiting to do this video and uh, just had the price tag on them. And let's go ahead and take that sticker off and let's see what it sounds like and when our insert was made. All right, nice, no residue left behind. Boom, not much of a ping to it, but I think that's probably because this is a coated finish uh, Zippo, meaning it has uh, the paint on it, so that will obviously be deteriorating the ping sound. So it's not fantastic, but that just looks hot, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and show you the bottom stamp here, show you when this thing was made. D of 2015, which stands for April of this year. And you can see this thing is literally glowing. You can see it is literally glowing. All right, that is how bright of a, of a yellow this is. And if we go ahead and take this out, the insert out, the insert was made in, what do you know? D of 2015. So we actually have a matching case and a matching insert, which is really, really cool. And one thing you will notice is that this is actually a shiny finished Zippo. Sometimes it is advertised as a neon yellow matte Zippo, when in reality, it's shiny and in fact all of the neon Zippo models have this interesting shiny paint applied to them even though they might be advertised as being matte Zippos don't get them confused for being actual matte finishes they're actually a, a, a high gloss paint applied to there that's also the same with the lemon Zippo and I do plan to get that along with the other neon finished Zippos and then I'll be doing like a big comparison video of all the various like shiny models that we have so yeah that's that that's it for that so there we have the neon yellow and let's go ahead and let's check out this one now this one is model 28847 zippo red flame all right and again you can see my man cave store again it's just a dollar more expensive and honestly when you see this one you'll be amazed as to how cheap this actually is i was impressed when i first saw it on the internet because i was thinking this design only 22 bucks how is that I, I knew as soon as I saw this I was gonna be getting one and I had no idea I'd be seeing it at the actual beach because again it is a brand new model for this year so in fact I believe this one is too so I really uh, was quite pleasantly surprised by the man cave story definitely check them out if you're ever over in Myrtle Beach so anyways there's the price tag twenty two ninety five. you'll see this is on a satin chrome finish there's the, the, the <laughs> there's the safety sticker and yeah Sorry about that, you might have heard my grandma's phone ringing in the background. Just had to make sure it was nothing important. And it actually was, but I missed it because of how long it took me to get there. <sighs> anyway, here we go. The satin chrome finish is what I was just talking about. 
Looking at the bottom, this one is also made in April of this year. That's D of 2015. Let's go ahead and let's take our price tag off and put that there. Take our sticker. Woo. Your sticker, put that there. All right, so this one is deteriorating too. Sometimes the Zippo stickers deteriorate on me, which is annoying because it gets on the lighter in the box and ugh. So I'm gonna have to make sure I figure out what's causing that. So let's go and open this up. Oh, not that much of a ping either. Let's try that again. It does have a ping actually. Pretty nice little ping. You can see the sort of the shadowing of where the sticker's been sitting these all this time. And uh, check it out. Very nice new insert. Let's see when the insert was made. Our insert was in fact made in D of 2015. So everything here matches up perfectly. I think that's really actually kind of cool. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but I still find that to be pretty interesting. This is what blows me away as to how cheap this one is. You'll notice, look at this design. We First of all, we've got an emblem, all right? which is quite a luxury feature to have on a Zippo in the first place. And you'll also see the inside of the Zippo red flame looks kind of like one of those sugar cookies. You know, the cookies that you can get at like Easter or Christmas and sometimes that have like the, the glitter on them, the glittery sugar on them. It kind of looks like that, I think. That's what that reminds me of. But then we have that nice layer of what I'm assuming is some kind of epoxy resin over it. It could be enamel, whatever. But yeah, I do believe that is probably literally glitter in there, but it's not going to come out as perfectly smooth as you can see. So that is really cool. And we have the Zippo logo along the side. I do happen to be a big fan of these Zippos with the Zippo logo being advertised on it. I think that is awesome. So yeah, I do believe that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below and make sure you check out the links in the description below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and make sure you check me out on Pinterest because I have my entire Zippo collection posted up there and uh, yeah it would mean a lot to me if you would check it out and at least um, maybe repost a few of them I don't know. And yeah you can literally see this is actually glowing. In fact the when UV light hits this it, the light it emits is somewhat green so that's why it does look a little bit green. If you're in like pure indoor lighting where there's no UV light going on it does have a more yellowish look to it so fascinating. Anyway that's gonna do it guys thank you so very much for watching and adios.